In this lesson, I will explain to you about significance of the correlation coefficient. We have discussed in the last lesson how to calculate the correlation coefficient. So here I have written again few lines that the range of the correlation coefficient is from negative 1 to positive 1. If, the, if there is a strong positive linear relationship between the variables, the value of r will be close to positive 1. Now what is the meaning of this? Suppose we have two variables. On x-axis we take the independent variable. Suppose if I will take advertisement because this is the independent variable and here I will take the sales which is dependent variable and if we draw the graph between these two variables, if one variable increases, if the advertising increases, the sales increases and all the points, points lie on one line, it means this is positive correlation. Same thing, suppose if we have two variables, just like he here, absence of the class, this is we will take on the x-axis and your grade we will take on the y-axis. So your grade depends on your absences. If suppose you missed one class, maybe you will get 90% and so on decreasing. If we all the points lie on this line in this direction, then we can say that it is negative strong correlation. So same thing I have written here, if there is a strong positive linear relationship, linear means line, all the points are on one line, it means when we will calculate the R, if the R is close to positive one, it means linear, a strong relationship. Similarly, if there is a strong negative linear relationship between the variables, the value of R will be close to minus one. Now, if the value of r is near to zero, the linear relationship is weak or non-existent. Now, what is the meaning of this? Suppose if I will say we will take two variables, here we will take age, ages of a people and here net worth suppose on y-axis, right? So, if we will join the points, if have some, we have suppose some data and if we will find out the relationship between net worth and age, the, if the points will come like this, it means there is no relationship, zero relationship. When we will see, join these points like this, 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 this. So we cannot make any conclusion. It means our correlation is weak or near to zero. So in this line, I have mentioned the same thing. Zero means no linear relationship and linear means line. Right? There is some kind of relationship, but not all the points lies on one line. This is the strong positive relationship and this is the strong negative relationship. Now here I have written that as the value of R is computed from the data obtained from samples, right? Correlation coefficient, if we calculate and the data is obtained from the sample, it is represented by R or correlation coefficient of the population is represented by the symbol. So here we are going to use R, which is the correlation coefficient of a sample. So there are two possibilities when R is not equal to zero. Now what is the meaning of these two lines? If R is computed from the data obtained from sample, so there are two possibilities that R is, we can say R is not equal to zero. So the first possibility is when we will calculate the R, maybe the value of R is high enough to conclude that there is a significant linear relationship between the points. And the second is because the data is a sample from the population, so maybe the value of R is due to by chance. So how we can find out the relationship? Here we have to use the hypothesis testing. Right? So to make this decision, we use hypothesis testing. And these five points you have to consider when you will find out the hypothesis testing. First of all, you have to define the hypothesis. Second, you have to find out the critical value with the help of table. Third, here we are going to use the t-test. In p-value test, we have used p-value, sorry, z-test. But here we are going to find out t-test and then make a decision and summarize the results. All these five points I will show you with the help of example, how we can state the hypothesis how to find out the values, critical values with the help of table and so on. But before going to start this hypothesis, I will explain to you 
these few lines what is the meaning of this the sample correlation coefficient which is r sorry which is r right can then be used as an estimator of a population correlation if the following assumptions are valid these are the four assumptions if these four assumptions are valid when we will solve the questions so whatever is the sample correlation we can assume or we can estimate that the population correlation coefficient is also same we can estimate it but what are the assumptions these are the assumptions the data are quantitative quantitative means we can count and are obtained from the simple random sample second is scatter plot shows that the data are approximately linearly related when we will make the scatter plot so the two variables show the relationship there should be some kind of relationship that is linearly related third is there are no outliers outliers means suppose we have these four or five points on the line but one point is here similarly we have all these points on the line one point is here so this is the outlier so in the assumption there are no outliers in the data fourth is the variable x and y must from must come from the normally distributed population now what is the meaning of this suppose we have a data if it is equally divided on both side it means this is normally distributed population so the variable means the value of x and y must come from the normally distributed populations if these assumptions are valid then we can estimate that the correlation coefficient of sample is equal to correlation coefficient of population okay now here is the hypothesis testing how we can write down the hypothesis so it should be actually a h not here in hypothesis testing one of the following is true either this or this this is the null hypothesis we have learned how to write down the null hypothesis and this is the alternative hypothesis so null hypothesis says that h not or population right there is the null hypothesis means there is no correlation if it is equal to zero means see here here is positive one here is negative one this is zero you say that there is no relationship between x and y i say no there is a relationship i am not going to agree with you so this is the alternative hypothesis that there is a significant relationship between the variables right so these we have to prove with the help of critical value or t test what you are saying that there is no correlation between x and y i say i am not agree with you there is a relationship significant relationship right okay so see here i have written that when the null hypothesis is rejected you are saying that equal to 0 age norm that there is no relationship between x and y two variables it means there is no relationship it is zero if it is rejected means if i am not agree with you it means that there is a significant difference between the value of r and zero if it is not rejected suppose if we accept it it means that the value of r is not significantly different from zero and is due to chance so these are the two important points if the null hypothesis is rejected it means there is a significant difference between r and 0 if it is accepted means not rejected then the value of r is not significantly different from 0 so here with the help of example this is the same example which we have discussed in the last lesson that these are the six companies right so this is called n here our n is 6 means number of observations are 6 these are the cars cars we have taken on the x axis and this is the revenue on the y axis revenue depends on car when we will join all these points you will see that these four points are on the line but these two points are not on the line so we can conclude yes there is a positive relationship if it is plus 1 we can say strongly positive relationship but see these two points are not on the line so maybe the relationship is 0.97 maybe 0.95 maybe 0.98 so i will show you and i already show in the last lesson as well how to calculate this correlation how to find out that what is the relation between cars and revenue so here i have written that r is 0.982 because only two points are not on the line otherwise it's a strong positive relation between cars and revenue if we have more cars definitely we have a more revenue 
right why i have written this alpha because when i will use the table we have to use this alpha so alpha is also given in the question okay so here see how to find out this 0.982 as i have said that r is equal to so this is our x values are given y is given then you have to multiply these two columns this is x y square this column and square of the y column and then make the total of each columns then you can have these figures put these figures in the formula then we have 0.982 it means is a strong positive relationship between cars and revenue now how you have to prove it with the help of hypothesis that whether you have to accept this hypothesis or not here you say that h node this is equal to 0 means there is no relation between x and y between cars and the revenue there is no relation but i say i'm not agree with you there is some relation is not equal to 0 it not equal to 0 means this is our 0 right this is our 0 so maybe here or maybe here so the second step is find the critical value with the help of this table so this is our table level of significance for direction test you have to use this table so in this table this is called the degrees of freedom how we have to find out as i have told you we had six observations a b c d e f so it is n minus 2 this is the degree of freedom so n we have 6 minus 2 which is equal to 4 that is why you have to see 4 you do not have to see 6 here you have to find out the degrees of freedom n minus 2 n is the total number of observations so 4 and then we have alpha is given is 0 0.05 right but here you have to see 0 0.025 question is why because it is two tail test if it is not equal to 0 it means it is two tail test means here and here so you have to divide it by 0 0.05 by 2 0.025 that is why you have to see this alpha is equal to and then we will consider this it is equal to 2.7660 it is if it is a two tail test so 2.776 critical area on the right hand side minus 2.776 on the left hand side in this way you have to find out the critical value and this is our critical value first step define the hypothesis second step find the critical value with the help of table we did it third step is compute the test value so test value here we are going to use the t test so t test is equal to r and under root n minus 2 divided by 1 minus whole square so this is the value of r because there is a relationship and r is given in the question as well 0.982 6 number of observations n minus 2 divided by 1 minus r square whole under root when you will solve it the answer is 10.4 so see this is positive 10.4 so it means it will be here in the after this region 0.2776 and then so on and here is 10.4 right so third step is compute the test value fourth is make the decision whether you have to accept the null hypothesis or not so reject the null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis your null uh, hypothesis was like this equal to zero i say reject the null hypothesis since the test value falls in the critical region right it is in the critical region if suppose we have some values here then we will accept it otherwise it is rejected to summarize the result there is no significant relationship between the number of cars there is sorry there is a significant relationship between the number of cars or rental agency owns and annual income so means this one you have to reject and this one is not equal to zero you have to accept it right okay now one more question is age and money so these are the observation again one two three and so on and this is age and this is the net worth if i say make a graph to find out what is the relationship so this is the relationship and you can say there is no relationship right these if we join these points and this 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 or these four points will on on not on the line these three will be so we can say weak relationship or no relationship but if i say prove it with the help of the hypothesis testing 
so here we will use p p m c this is different table you can use the same table or this table this is the pearson coefficient correlation table so and suppose we have given 10 number of observation 10 right suppose in this question alpha is given 0 0.01 and r is 0 0.307 this is the correlation so first of all you have to define the or state the hypothesis again you are saying that is equal to 0 it means that there is no relationship I say no there is a relationship so not equal to right so first of all again what you have to do we did state the hypothesis find the degree of freedom here we have 10 observation 10 minus 2 which is equal to 8 degrees of freedom is 8 now find the critical value with the help of a table so here we have alpha 0 0.01 so this is 0 0.01 this is degrees of freedom when you will see the value 0.675 we have 0.675 now the question is in the last question when alpha was 0.05 i said you have to divide by 2 because it is a two tail test this is 0 0.01 we are not dividing by 2 because you can see here level of significance for two tail test this is for the two tail tail test is given that is why right okay so when we say it is 0 0.76 so 0 0.765 on this side 0.765 on the other side this is the critical region because it is the two tail test now here i have written if r this one is less than critical value do not reject the null hypothesis if r is greater than critical value reject the null hypothesis so what is our case our case is here right if r is less than and in the summarize summary i have written since 0 0.037 is less than less than 0 0.67 and here i have written if it is less than do not reject the null hypothesis it means we have to accept this one it means do not reject why the decision is to not reject the null hypothesis hence there is not enough evidence to say that there is a significant linear relationship between age and wealth of the richest people in the world so we have to accept this not reject this on the basis of this right okay now here i have written the important point that significance test for the correlations are two tailed if it were two tail means if i will sorry this will be like this if i will say is not equal to zero it means two tail on both sides but they can be one tailed if there is a strong positive relationship suppose if all points lies on one it is positive one if all points lies here on the inverse direction that is a strong negative relationship if you have like this or this then you have to use the one tail test if there is a strong positive relationship between two variables or a strong negative relationship between two variables then we can have one tail test but normally in significance test for correlation we use two tail because always not it is positive one or negative one sometimes it is 0 0.99 0 0.98 with the positive sign here the same thing with the negative sign so in this lesson you have learned significance of correlation i hope everything is clear if you have any question you can ask me subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching